So the game I'm playing today is called Bad Dream Graveyard. We are now going to be moving on to the second game in the Bad Dream series. I still have no clue what the heck happened in Bad Dream Butcher. Nothing that was going on in Bad Dream Butcher made any sense to me whatsoever. I mean, I, I was able to figure out that I was in a dream. I mean, the game is called Bad Dream, after all. But why exactly was I having this dream? And what was the significance of all of the strange events that were unfolding? What was the significance of the butcher coming in and chopping my fingers off? Like, what, what does it all mean? I'm still so puzzled after all of that. But we are going to tackle Graveyard next. This is the second entry in the series. I'm still playing this in chronological order. Will Graveyard answer all the questions I had about Butcher? Will Will everything start making more sense? Will it all start coming together? Well, probably not, because it's only the second game in the series, out of, like, seven in total. But without any further hesitation, let's just go get started. Yep, it just throws us right in again. Alright, off with the eerie music already. So... Yeah, I assume we are in a graveyard. I do see gravestones. So, okay, that thing fell over. Why exactly did that happen? Uh, this thing also fell out of a tree. Alright, so once again, it's... Okay, I guess it's like a, a rotting apple or something. Yeah, that's, that's what it looks like. Uh, okay... I don't fully understand what's happening, but, uh... We'll go walk over to the left. And see, and see what sort of strange things we can find. Looks like barbed wire. What about this crow? I can look at it. Yeah, how are you doing? You're kind of a strange looking creature. Just looking back at me. Uh... I picked up a dead bee. Okay. <laughs> What's the point of that exactly? Uh, there's this pond right here. Uh, does absolutely nothing. It does, it does animate a little bit, though, which I guess is cool. Uh, I'm just hovering over everything that I possibly can just to make sure I'm not going past anything. I don't think I am. Go to the left. There's a bug right here. Uh, cobweb? No, can't do anything with the cobweb. That wheel just fell over. What about the bucket? Okay, I can just throw the bucket over. Say screw it. Um... I can pick something up right here, yeah, a battery. I can't pick up the other thing in this in this cabinet. Uh, doesn't seem like I can open the door because the doorknob has been, uh, well, taken off the door. So that's out of the question. Oh, hi, how are you doing? Oh! You just, you just scream at me. Okay, cool. Okay, well, there's a question mark on this thing. I can't inspect it at all. Nothing in the background that I can inspect. What about this thing? I picked up a stone. Can I throw it at you? I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, so there's absolutely nothing else I can do in this area, I don't think. I don't believe, so maybe we'll go back over this way. Maybe throw it at you? No? Yeah, so... I don't think there's anything else I can do over here. I can go down this way, though. Yeah, there is a, another area down over here. Spider? Okay, I can feed the dead bee to the spider. Now I have an empty jar. Uh... Teddy bear? Yeah, I also have the teddy bear. It doesn't tell me it's a teddy bear, though. So I assume this is gonna be... gonna be bad. <laughs> so Something... something strange is gonna happen with this bear, probably. There's no description at all. Uh... Okay, no teddy bear? No teddy bear allowed? Why not? Put the battery in there. And then I can ring the doorbell. Is anyone home? No? What about this swan right here? No, there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Okay, I guess I guess you chopped off one of my fingers, right? Uh, I have no idea. No, my hand still seems to be okay. Uh, but now the teddy bear has an X over it. Sure, I'll enter your- your how what the heck is that creature? Like some sort of worm. With- with no lips. Uh, wait, could I- could I pick something up there? Okay, I thought- I thought I was able to. I just spilled that- that cup over. Uh, there is a bed. Closet. I can pick up the handle. Okay. I can probably put the handle back on- on that other door that I saw before then. Yes, indeed. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything else I can do here, I don't think. Like, are there any more- hang on a second, no, I can pick up the knife. 
Yeah, there we go. I have a weapon. This will probably be useful for something. I don't think I can do anything else here, though. So we'll go back over here. Put the handle on the door. Open the door. Get on the floor. Maybe walk the dinosaur. We'll see. There, uh, There's a suspicious stain on that bed over there. It looks yellow. Did you do that? I can't even click on you. Here, put the teddy bear. I guess you're just having a tea party. Give me your salt. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm why what I need this for exactly. Can't open that door. Um, I guess I'll just leave. Oh, you're gone now. Uh, okay. You got a fly in the jar. The teddy bear is going crazy. Okay, I guess that. Okay, that also didn't do anything to my hand, though. At least my hand's not getting cut off. Teddy bear has some missing limbs, though. Also, this door is open. Okay. Uh, okay, I throw the stone into the window. And then I throw the teddy bear in it, and it opens the door? What? Scarecrow? Yeah, put, put a knife in your hand. I don't know how you could even, like, hold on to that. There's another bird over here. Like some sort of mannequin. What is going on? This is this is where they're storing the dead bodies or something. <laughs> what is this place? I do have the teddy bear though. Do I have to like leave and come back and then you'll do something? Oh, looks like something happened to you. Hang on a second. Why are you smiling now? All of a sudden. It clearly must mean I did a I did a good thing. Because if you're smiling, at least I don't think you were smiling before. Uh, yeah, I cannot do anything else. I can't click on this. No, because if I could click on it, the icon would change. So, yeah, we'll just leave. Can I go down this, like, alleyway over here? No? I guess I can't. The dead fish? No, absolutely nothing. Is there, like, anything I can click on? I'm just trying to make 100% sure, because... You just- I just never know with these- with these point-and-click games. He seems to be happy now, though. Now that he- now that he has his knife. Uh, can't do anything with the heart. Wanna be my girlfriend? No! Well, I guess she- I guess she didn't- she didn't really like that. Was it the teddy bear that wrote that? I have no idea. Uh... Hmm. Maybe that's why she ripped its limbs off. I don't know. Maybe it rejected her. Uh... Let's see what we got. Uh, I don't know where else to go. I still don't think I can do anything else over here right now, can I? No, I don't think I can. Uh, I can put the fly in the jar right in there, okay. Now we have an empty jar. That bird is still looking at me, for goodness sakes. Okay, yeah, I deposited the fly in there. What was the point of that, though? I don't... I don't get it. I still have no idea what's going on. Uh, wait, this thing wasn't here before. Yeah, hi, how are you doing? You're just saying things. Oh, smile. Balloons? Attach to Bowens? Okay, well, the bear is, is losing its limbs now. I also have a spring. I got the fly in the jar back again. Can I put you back in here? There we go. I gotta put you back where you belong. I, I guess. What the heck is this? Smile. Uh... Can't click on the balloons, can I? No. There's a skull right over here. Okay. I guess, did, did something else change down over here, I wonder? Maybe something did. Uh, no, because I think that stone was already there. Uh... Let's see if anything changed in here, I wonder. Okay, I can use the salt to completely vaporize the worm. Okay, now I have another fly in the jar. I guess I have to put flies in the jar or something. A wooden head? Uh, I don't understand anything. I just don't understand anything anymore, guys. I guess I have to put this fly into here as well. Yeah, there we go. What do I do with the wooden head now? It looks exactly like your head. Uh... I'll find- I'll find something to put this on. Maybe... Uh... Let's just go back down over here for a moment. I don't think there's really anything that I- that I can do here now. I think I've done pretty much everything I can. 
Yeah, so, in that case, uh, unless, no, the swan hasn't changed at all, uh, I don't think anything has changed in this area other than that. Go back over here, uh, maybe go back over this way, so maybe I can do something with, with you, yes, I can add the wooden head to, uh, your other arm, okay. Is that gonna make you change again? No, it doesn't. Wait, I can pour... Okay, I can fill the jar with blood. Oh, and then I can bring you to life with that. And now you're just gone. Oh, and the birds are dead now. Oh, because you cut the birds' heads off, that's why. Okay, now everything is just going, is just going insane. Uh... Again, this is still not really terrifying me all that much. Okay, something crazy is going on outside. Get another fly in the jar, so I can actually pick that fly up now. Uh, holy crap, dude. Yes, the entire world is going insane, I understand. Oh, okay, you got beheaded as well. Um, alright. Uh, sad end to you. Yeah, I can't click on anything else over here. Okay, gotta go down this way. Okay, that bird's also dead as well. Put the fly in the jar. Okay. Did some- something probably changed over this way. The swan probably got decapitated too. Oh, it sure as hell did. Okay, got another fly in the jar. Did anything else change in here? Oh, there's another head. Okay, another- another bear head. I guess that's all that remains of the bear now. Okay, I'll go back over here and deposit this fly into- into this place. Which I assume is what I have to do. I'm just assuming. Because I still have no clue what's going on. Okay. I can't do anything with you. Yeah. Absolutely nothing else I can do with that. Uh... Yeah, I don't think there's, like, anything else I can, I can click on in here. I'm just looking to make absolutely sure. But I don't think there is. So we'll get out for now. Wait, there's another fly that I can put in the jar. And then put in here. Okay, I'm just searching for flies or something? Yeah, I can put the fly in this jar, uh, go back, put it in here. Now we have sticky goo? What the heck do I use this for? What is going on right now? So apparently I can use the sticky goo on this guy's corpse. I can stick the head of the teddy bear to him. And that's just it, the end, and... I mean, he's giving me a thumbs up, so I guess the operation was successful. The first ever head transplant. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> well, the first ever human head transplant. Yeah, that was that's the entire game, guys. We're done already. That made even less sense than Butcher. Holy crap! What what even was that? Well, guys, that's it. That's that's it for the second bad dream game. And I still, I still don't know what's happening in in this frigging series. Like I I put flies in in a bee's house. Which creates sticky goo that I put on some guy's like sev like corpse. Like he he got completely decapitated by some rogue scarecrow, and I have to put sticky goo on like the little the little head stump and put the the teddy bear head on it, and he get. I'm just even- I'm even more confused now. Now I have just way more questions than I had before. You know, whoever I'm controlling in this game, this guy has some pretty messed up dreams, dude. I mean, there's- there, and, there, and there has to be a reason why this is happening. There's gotta be some sort of reason. Maybe it'll only be, uh, revealed in Coma. Like, Coma is supposed to be the final game in the Bad Dream series. Maybe only then will I- will I- Will it finally be revealed to me what it, what is going on? Why is he having all these these dreams and and suffering like this? There's got to be got to be a reason, but we won't find out for a little while longer, guys, because the next game we have to tackle here is uh, Bad Dream Hospital, and that's just probably going to be even more screwed up than Butcher and Graveyard combined, and I'm. Just really not even going to know what the heck's going on in that one. As per usual, if you want to download all the Bad Dream games, except for Coma, links in the description. They're all available on Game Jolt, so go in and check them out. They're all free, except for Coma. Coma's the only one that isn't available on Game Jolt. It's the only one that is available exclusively on Steam. Uh, it's still probably going to be a while before I get to that. Like I said, it might still be until, like, October 
before I finish getting through the first six Bad Dream games and then finally moving on to the longest one, moving on to the finale finally. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video I make. This is, this is just getting even stranger as, as the games go on. Anyway, later guys.